Jared, they always say never take a holiday, which is probably right. Um, you, are you surprised that she would take two overseas non-government uh, business trips in the one year? No, I'm not, actually, because every, every member of parliament knows, and, and I'm saying this for the Labor Party as well, because the Labor Party have actually been... They're the ones who have been leaking all these details against their own leader in the last week, ever since the disastrous week they had in Parliament last week. So it's the Labor Party members leaking against the Premier. Um, France, uh, she was there, France, for three weeks in January, now two weeks. That's on top of the actual trade mission she's done, which were working uh, overseas trips. Um, but just before they handed down the budget, uh, the Premier was shopping in Sydney, I think two days before they were handing down the budget. Uh, and the Premier is always very happy in Queensland to be at all the concerts and the rock concerts she goes to and get all the selfies and all the celebrities and all that sort of stuff. So I'm not surprised that, um, you know, she's away overseas again. And I've been saying for years now, the Premier's checked out, more interested in the red carpet, the glitz and glamour of the job. But Queenslanders are suffering at the moment. We've got a youth crime crisis. Every day we're seeing homes being broken into, people assaulted on our streets. We've got the homeless issue, the housing crisis, the cost of living crisis, and the health crisis. And uh, Premier's away again. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that youth crime crisis. It, it's not, it's not uh, confined to Queensland. Obviously, there's big problems in, in particularly Victoria, where, where I am, and we've seen uh, the problems in the Territory. How bad is it in Queensland? You're closer to it than me, Jared. How bad and, and how unsafe do a lot of Queenslanders feel in their homes with these home invasions? Well, many Queenslanders feel unsafe in their own homes now. I uh, had a press conference with our leader, David Christopher, yesterday on the Sunshine Coast. We met uh, a business owner, uh, Jits, who migrated from India to Australia. He was punched in the face a few weeks ago. His brother's nose was broken by a gang of allegedly 15-year-olds and younger. He was then attacked again just this weekend. I had a resident in my own electorate that was broken into at 3 o'clock by four alleged offenders only last week and then the wife and the husband have been up every night since working out who's doing the shifts to make sure they don't come back. People are frightened and it gets back to when Anastasia Palaszczuk was first elected in 2015, the very first bill that Yvette Darth, now the Attorney General again, introduced into Parliament was to weaken all the youth justice laws in the state and that now Queenslanders are suffering the consequences of those weakened laws and fewer police on the beat now than what there was a year ago.